All right, here we are for page seven. Um, this one I do not have an example of because <clears throat> I did not put it in the book that I, my original recipe book. I'm going to call this one the Magic Belly Band Closure Page. And it looks like there's a whole lot going on here. I tried to write it out over here. Flaps attach, so you can flip through. Anywho, it's going to be easier for me to show you than to try to tell you what all of this is. Once you've done it, then you'll be like, oh, okay, see it. <clears throat> so, I have already cut out my, pace, my pieces A through F. And we are going to put them on the page. So, here's page seven, top, bottom. Here's our spine. A is our first piece, but it is going to go on probably last. So we'll put it over to the side. We have our doors, which are B. That flip are too big. All right. <clears throat> Five. They only need to be four and a quarter across. <clears throat> I will have this correct on the paper that you are looking at. I cut it a quarter inch too big. So let me fix it here. Fix it. It just needs to be five, not five and a quarter. So just five. All right, so this page is going to have a guess it because we're going to have a lot going on on the inside. So let's go ahead and fold. There's our hinge. There's our guess it. <coughs> There's our hinge, and there's our gusset. I did that backwards. All right, so hinge, gusset. We're gonna put one on each side. So it will be a, uh, what do they call it, a gatefold door. They were all up this way. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and glue those down. If I pause on here, it's because I'm trying to build this a step ahead of what I'm physically doing in my brain to make sure that <clears throat> we don't waste any paper. All right, so we're going to take our bottom corner, line it up on the bottom corner, go ahead and flatten that gusset out, and line it up the side. Now on this piece, we do want it to be as lined up with the side because we're gonna have another piece meeting it in the middle. But actually, you're not gonna see it. So if it's off a little bit, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a hidden closure on this one. I put this on a Disney book that I posted not too long ago. <clears throat> All right, so this is our other piece B that goes on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and lay down some speckle. <clears throat> bottom corner, the bottom corner, flatten out that gusset. Line it up along the side. There we go. And then push, 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 push. All right, 
right, so there's our doors. And they're going to open up like this. All right. <clears throat> so to make the magic part, we are going to put part C on. Okay, part C is two and a quarter by nine and three fourths. I scored at a half inch at the top and the bottom. Nope, I didn't follow my own directions. I need to score at a half inch and five eighths. Because we're getting ready to shove something in back behind it. And that's going to be what keeps it closed. So, there's five eighths. And I just wanted to make sure there was enough room. And five eighths. Oh, come on. Good job. This one will be easier because I didn't fold it yet. All right, so there's my half inch. And then another one-eighth or the five-eighths mark. So, again, with a teeny tiny gusset. top here perfect. Ah, oh, crazy things whenever I read my own directions. So this is how we're going to attach it. And we're going to do one on each side of these swinging B doors. All right, so fold. There's my gusset. There's my hinge line. There's my gusset. And there's my hinge line. <coughs> So, let's go ahead and glue. I'm going to glue just one piece at a time. <clears throat> so, bottom corner, here's my gusset. Here's my hinge line. Bottom corner, bottom corner. Actually, that's a top corner, but you know. All right, so I want to line it up along the bottom, but I also want to line it up along the inside of this door. Okay. So it's lined up this way. Smash that puppy down. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach this end. So I'm going to put my glue down. I'm going to fold that gusset down on this side. And I'm going to line this up along the top. Again, I want it as flush with the side as possible. I know you're thinking, oi, you got a hump. Well, the hump will go away in a minute. All right, so whenever I pop up my gussets, I have this little door right here. Okay, so that's that side done. Now we're going to do this side. So, same deal. We have our gussets. Glue the top down first. This corner with this corner. Line it up along the top. 
double check along the side. There it is. All right, and then smush, 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 smush. that hinge that guess it up and let's do the bottom hinge I am putting a little bit more extra glue on these because this is going to get a lot of pushing on to close it so I just want to make sure that it's on there tight All right. <clears throat> So lined up, bottom corner to bottom corner, lined up along my side, push, 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 push. I take off my extra glue. All right, there's the right side done. Okay. So we have this little door here, see, two little belly bands. And what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna make, well, that's a stupid piece to use because it's too fat. We're gonna make a booklet that is going to go through here and that will hold it shut. But the reason why it's magic or hidden, we're gonna take A and put it on top. So when you first look at it, you think it is just a belly band. Oh, but it is not. Because you will have to do that to open it. <clears throat> so, this, page 7A, is going to go on top of page 7C on the left door. Okay? So here's our right. We're just going to open it and get it out of the way. This is the left side. I am going to align the left side of C with the left side of A. And then I'm going to glue that down. <clears throat> so if you're using tape, tape this whole bad boy up. I, you know what? I might use my tape. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is my two inch tape. I'm gonna go ahead, line it up right underneath that gusset at the top. I'm gonna follow along my left hand side. Right down here to the top of this gusset. Oh, don't stick. Use a straight edge tear it off so there if you're going to do tape you want to get it all the way to this end this edge for sure okay so this is front all the way to this edge I'm going to fill in this little gap with glue Do you want it taped down pretty good on both sides. <clears throat> so there's my glue. Off with the tape. Just like our pockets, line up this bottom corner with this bottom corner. And then line it up along the left hand side. All the way up to the top. And that is what makes it our hidden closure, magic closure, whichever way you want it to be. And press down on the inside just because I used glue and I want to get it out <clears throat> so it doesn't end up sticking it shut. 
All right, so there, there is C. That is C, and this is A. Okay, this is the inside of B. Here is B, here is C. When we close it, it will close like this. Okay. And then we're going to make a booklet. It's going to go right in here through these two things. And that's what's going to keep it shut. When you are putting your pattern paper on, because you have this tiny lip here where C, let's see if I can show you, where it's right here, where C meets A, I would go ahead and push my pattern paper in here a little bit further because your book's going to be coming in this way and that will help keep it from getting hung up on that lip. <clears throat> All right. So now let's move on to D, which is going to be two little pockets that go right here. Yep. So they are <clears throat> five and a half. Oh, is that wrong? It is wrong. Poop on a stick. I'm not very good at this measuring thing whenever I just do it on the fly. All right, you'll have this done right. All right, since our pages. We're four and a quarter across before we add it on our gusset and our hinge. The page that you're looking at, the door, is four and a quarter across. So if we're doing a simple pocket, you add an inch, because it's a half an inch on either side. So we have five and a quarter by three and a half. Ay, ay, ay. So, five and a quarter and I'll just use my tiny one. So now my score line is at a quarter. Again, you won't have done this because we fixed it on our sheet. What the world, there it is. So I just need to fix this. You shouldn't need to do this. But I also don't know how to edit on this yet. So real time. So pretend you don't see this extra wonky line. We're going to cut across our, our corners. Just to make simple pockets. All right, fold and burnish. Fold and burnish. I feel like that needs to be said so dramatically. All right, so we've got both of our little pockets folding. Again, outside of our page. Open it up. This is the inside of B. We're going to put D right down here at the bottom. Okay, so go ahead and glue. This is one of the reasons why we have uh, those gussets in this door. But we're going to add some more things in here that would have made it really bulky if we didn't have them. <clears throat> 
All right. So that's that. Now for the other side, let's see. corner to bottom corner. Remember, we want to come to just the outside of that score line, that fold line that we did for our door. Push, push, push. There's our little pockets. Oh, come on. All that glue I put down, don't you dare start popping up. There we go. <clears throat> All right. I thought about doing a pocket here, but I did not. Because I decided instead to put these little hinge doors on here. <clears throat> and they're going to be on here. And what it's going to do is you can take your recipe card and you can glue it to one side of this hinge. Okay. So then there's the back side of it. So you can see both sides. But we're going to layer these up. One here, one up at the top. And we're going to do two, 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 and two. So that will hold eight more recipe cards. And I just thought it'd be cute to have them flipping. <clears throat> if you want to skip this and do you a pocket here, then you just want to do one that is going to be <clears throat> nine and a half across and three and a half top to bottom. You want to score it at a half an inch on the left, the bottom, and the right. And then you can put that right down here. You're still going to have plenty of gusset. And then we're going to put our booklet in here. So you'll still be good. So I, I don't know which recipe cards I want to use yet. Let's see. Let's just take a random piece of paper. So this is from the collection. That one. Oh, I like the lemons. Oh, that'll stand out good. I like that gingham. I'm going to have these red ones. All right, I think I'm going to do the, the black gingham on this. Plus, I, for whatever reason, bought. Yeah, see, they're $1.99. A crazy amount of them. They may have been 40% off the day I got them. That would explain why I would buy one, two, three, four, five packages. All right, so we're going to need eight. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> now, there are several ways we can do this. If you do not want to commit to the card or as my mother said she likes to write on the card and be able to pick it up and move it <clears throat> what I'm going to do for right now is once I put this hinge down I am going to paper clip them to the card to the hinge Right? So then they can still take them off and write on them or take them off and carry them <clears throat> to wherever they're cooking. So that's how I'm going to do that. But I am going to go ahead and paper clip them on 
so that you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll probably dig through and find colors that I know for sure I like. For whatever reason, well, because we use up probably a sixteenth here, one side, oh, sorry, this is one inch across by four inch up and down, and then I scored it on the half inch mark. You're still going to have, even though we did it right in the middle, one that's going to be a little bit bigger. I want the biggest piece to be my hinge. It just gives me more security. <clears throat> So I will be paper clipping these to the slightly less than an inch. I mean a half inch page. So I'm going to have four on the left side, and I'm going to have four on the right-hand side. So the ones that are going to go on the right-hand side, we're going to paperclip this side to it. stretched down. There's the ones for the left hand side. And now the ones for the right hand side because they're going to go over here. I need to attach this side of the card. Four on this, four on the left side, four on the right side. And actually, by doing it this way, if they have a recipe that takes up more than one card, they can just paper clip that in, in there. This may be genius. It may not be good at all. <clears throat> But it is what it's going to be for right now. Okay. Two more. So the next page is going to be page eight. And I was just going to do a simple pocket page. I think I said that earlier in one of the other videos. I have decided to add an envelope accordion to it but we are not making envelopes. It's gonna be able to use just regular thank you card size envelopes. So if you have any, I wish I had some that were floral, but mine are all just bright colors. Because all of my thank you cards were, well, for students. I work in the superintendent's office now, that's why I'm still at school but not with the kids. All right, so <clears throat> if you are gonna do the pocket and these, you really need to do the pocket down here and these up top, or else you're gonna have to start messing with gussets to go around your pocket. You would need to put this down first, then put your pocket. <clears throat> All right, we are ready to glue. So I'm going to do the first one. All right. I want to make sure that the recipe is the right side up. Bottom right corner, bottom right corner. Remember we have that gusset here, so do it just on on the other side of that score line. And line it up. So there's one. See, these go on this side. These will go on this side. I'm going to go ahead and do the one on the left side now. Okay. 
bottom corner, bottom corner, on the outside of that score line. Line it up, make it as flush with the bottom as you can. Press it down. Okay, so they will go like this. Our other two, so we have this, this half inch a hinge here. We're going to line this one up right next to it. Okay, so it's going to look like this. All right, so left hand, left corner, left corner. I want to line up the side with the, the other side of this hinge. I don't want to necessarily line it up with this paper because this comes in and out. So that part is not, not true to straight. Oh my goodness, that's going to be cute. And then you could keep doing them until you get all the way across the page if you wanted to. We could put four more or eight more in here. And that may be what happens. But this is all we're doing for right now. If you want to add more, you just keep cutting those one inch by four inch pieces. Remember, we're lining it up on the outside of that half inch hinge. <clears throat> Press it down. Oh, that's cute. Now we're going to do ours up here. Okay, so we're going to glue. Top corner, top corner. Line it up on just the outside of that score line because I don't want it to interfere with closing those pages. Press, press, press. We'll go ahead and do the other one right here. Ooh. Top corner. I want to line it up right outside the top corner of this hinge. All right. Press, press, press. Now, when you are putting your paper down, if you have washi tape that matches this paper that you're using, <clears throat> you could put that washi tape, you could open this up, put a line of that washi tape all the way down here, and that covers up that hinge. Just makes it look a little different. If you wanna cut yourself a, oh, probably 3 8 strip of paper, you do 3 8 by what, eight and a quarter? And you could glue that down here. You do have this little dip down. The butt, but that would be a cute way of decorating this. All right, and now I'm gonna do the right side. Okay. Top corner, top corner. Again, here's my uh, score line for that hinge. I want to go on just the outside of it. Press, press, press. And do the next piece. Okay. Top corner with this top corner right where that hinge for this card is. Line it up along the side with it. Press, press, press. All right. And there, and now you see why we have that gusset, okay? 
I'm not going to do it right now, but whenever it is time to decorate this book and I, I put it up on whatever website, you're, I'm probably going to have at least one more card on each of these, but maybe two. So let's see. That would go there. Yeah, I could do one more on each side. Oh, that's cute. All right, so we've got the insides done. Now let's make our booklet that's going to go here. Okay. So, while we've been doing this, I've been thinking I was going to make just a regular open one side and be done with it, but I think I want to have a, a trifold. So I'm going to cut one more of F. I have written down that you only need one, but we're going to go ahead and make that two. So two at, oh, no, 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 no. Nope. You're going to do one at seven and a half by seven and a half on F1. You're going to need two. Okay. Yep. And that'll make this a bifold. So let me cut that real quick. I just need to score one line. So this needs to be eight by seven and a half. If you do get the paper from Walmart, it is perforated up here. Can you see that? Yeah. So I always have to look and make sure I'm not using that piece. All right, so seven and a half. Eight. And then I want to score it at a half inch. I'm going to have my eight across the top. Because this is a half inch on the left hand side. Yeah, so that'll go there. This will go here. So, page seven. <clears throat> so I turned these I did my score lines but I turned this one inside out or to the back side where the hump is up because I'm going to attach it that way and my crazy brain likes to be able to see alright so <clears throat> there's my two 8 inch pieces here's my seven and a half, seven and a half. I'm going to attach the one that is scored on the left-hand side to the top. I'll be there just a second, dear. I'm taping, I'll be there just a second. So here's our bottom corner with our bottom corner. Line it up along the side. We're gonna smush that down. Then we're gonna take the third piece I just made of the eight <clears throat> by seven and a half. Here, we're going to turn it over and attach this to the back. So it's going to be attached like this. This was our 8 inch piece. This is our 8 inch piece. This is a seven and a half. Alright. Add your spackle. Okay. 
add that bottom corner to the bottom corner and line it up along the side. So now when we pull it out, we're going to have this. It's going to become thicker, especially if you put paper on these sides. I'm going to put pattern paper on this, and then I will probably use just my red cardstock on one, two, three, four, five pieces of it. <clears throat> um... And we make, you could always put little tuck spots on here so you can tuck in some recipe cards. Or this is where they can put those fuller sheets. So, the way we close this is we're going to slide it in here. It's going to slide all the way through. See, there's our two, what was that piece, C? Those were our C pieces. It goes through there and holds that shut. And that is the Magic Closure Belly Band. Wow, how'd you do it, Paige? All right, so there is page seven. Now we just have page eight, which is going to be pretty easy and short to do. And I will see you then.